I'm just gonna start this video here, uh, starting from Phillies, and I'm just gonna walk down to, mm, I wanna say Eurotel, which is over there. And this will be the second video of, I call this Field Ave, and I just did a video of Walking Street. So here we are, walking. Roadhouse Bar. Salvatore's Pizzeria, you wouldn't even know it's here. It's the afternoon, but they open sometime at six. And here is Angel Witch, door girl. Doesn't want to be on camera. Here we are, walking. Here is Sky Tracks. Weird people. Sky Tracks. We're just gonna walk. Bunny Burger. Bunny Burger. There's nothing really on the other side. Just, just a couple shops and things like that. So I'm not really gonna focus on the other side. I'm gonna focus on this side. We have new orange bar. It's new. <laughs> well, it's it's new orange bar, but it's um I want to say they opened sometime this year or sometime late last year, 2015. Here is a salon and cafe, another bar called After Dark. I want to say this is new, but I've never been inside, so I don't, I'm not. I've never been inside, and I. I kind of don't recall when it when it came to be. Here we have Red Queen Bar. Nice uh, free Wi-Fi. But I'm pretty Yeah, this place is this place is closed. I'm assuming this this place no longer operates. And then here all the girls have moved to Champagne. So I'm not sure what's going on here at this place. But, there you go. And now you'll notice that there are, there's a Korean lettering on here, which champagne must be a Korean bar, and brown sugar was not a Korean bar. This place was a gelato ice cream stop. And I remember I had no idea, sorry, I had no idea about uh, gelato at the time, but gelato is delicious. And now it's gone. Now it's an now it's a, an, an eye an eye shop. They have this advertisement here for Wins Ho Wins Hotel reservations, free shuttle. And here we have uh, an Apartel Royale Hotel. Never I've never really been interested enough to look in. So again, you'll notice Korean lettering. There's, there's a lot of catering to Koreans here. Uh, kimchi, karaoke, and live music. Again, catering to the Korean, to the Korean audience that comes here. And here is a Korean restaurant. This used to be, this used to be Alaska bar, I want to say. And that, that went down. And I want to say 2012, and they've they've since then changed it into a restaurant. This is Nanaline Tourist Bar. This is more like of a place where people just come and they hang out. I've seen a lot of people there playing Connect Four. This Midnight Cruiser. This place used to be known as Insomnia, the infamous Insomnia, but it is now. Midnight Cruiser Music Lounge. Still the same hours, I want to say. But things have uh, changed, as you can see. And this is D-Club. I want to say it's the same owners as those... Uh, as those in um, the old Insomnia. And that's no longer Insomnia. It's a music... It's a mu Midnight Cruiser Music Lounge. Here's Natalia Hotel. And at Natalia Hotel, they have uh, an exchange place. 
This is the outside place. And then that's the inside. You would just go inside. And um, yeah, that's it's open 24 hours. And the rates are always showing on the outside. That's not necessarily the place I like to get my my exchanges. Uh, there is a Jolly Bee over here on the side. You would have to go down this street right here and just make a quick right. And right, that building on the left is a Chow King. And here is Manson Drug. Pretty much if you need any medicine or anything like that, this is probably the best place to, to check. Down here is uh, Juanita's Hotel. This is Teodoro, Teodoro Street. I'm not sure if you can see that or if it's a little dark, but I can't necessarily adjust the lighting. So we're just gonna have to roll with it, roll with it. Seven Eleven, Rainbow Family KTV. Here is an Ann Fashion Boutique. Hello, Kuya. Western Union. And then again, plenty of shops on the side here. Plenty of shops. This was where the swag man was, but I'm not sure if it's there anymore. Well, the place is actually for rent, so I'm pretty sure it isn't there. And then again, a little cell phone shop. Again, little shops. Little shops in, in the same way that the little shops are across the street. But just on this side of the street now. As you can see, the, the frequency of the bars has, has changed. It's it become less. That's, been, that's, that's always been. As soon as you get off of Walking Street. Walking Street has more of the bulk bars. And this is Margarita Station. Hello, Kuya. How are you? And this is the, the doorman here at uh, Margarita Station. And this, this is, this is my spot right here. The frickin' supermarket. <laughs> JJ Supermarket. Uh, you have a little McDonald's ice cream spot. But boom, JJ, Mr. JJ actually. Here's the entrance and here's the exit. And again, this is, this is like a little uh, trike stop. But there are plenty of trikes pretty much parked here. Or parked very close by, like across the street. Across the street. Yeah, in uh, front of Margarita Station, in front of the supermarket, plenty of trikes. This is the little cell phone store. This, this is where you should come to get your, like, uh, a SIM card or a smart bro, anything like that. You can pretty much, they have plenty of things here and they have people who can help you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a place for the lotto. Hello, the lotto man. My girlfriend keeps buying a bunch of gold bananas at this particular place, so this guy's very happy to see me. There's a Western Union across the street. There are plenty of Western Unions. Western Union, uh, they're not, I guess they're not official spots, official Western Union locations, some of them, but there are some that are, and there are some that are kind of like working in collaboration with a pawn shop. Or, or something else. Here is Genesis Hotel. Massage. Mm. This used to be where the Chow King was. Now they changed to a Korean restaurant and now they are temporarily closed for renovation. Now here, we have an exchange spot. There's an exchange spot across the street. That Donalyn one over there, the one that says Donalyn across the street. Yeah, there it is. That, that's kind of like a Western Union spot as well. And it's, um, I call this a little, like, exchange triangle. Uh, there's, there's a place down on Tirodoro named Norma's. And pretty much when the Western Union and, and uh, Norma's are open, outside of weekends, I'm assuming, the, 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 the rate change doesn't, doesn't change as much. You see that the that the exchange places like this that are always open, uh, they they get a very they get 
they don't necessarily they're n they're in no rush to change the rates so they try they try to bank as much as they can i want to say it's 25 to 30 pesos from what i've been looking at but on weekdays when there's a lot of comp i guess when they're in competition with normas and western union the rates is i want to say 15 15 cents under uh what the actual rate is which is not bad it's not like a peso or anything like that so now here i am i'm walking across the street this is all new i've almost been hit numerous times one of the things that you should not you should not be so One of the things that you should not be so confident about is people people obeying the rules and the laws here. So if you see a red light, you look you look both ways and you look twice. Cause people people don't know these these lights are new. They don't necessarily know how to use them yet. They're learning the process. You don't want to be one of the victims of you know someone learning that a red light means stop and that one time he didn't know so look at this this lady is shooting a self she was shooting a selfie with a selfie stick on a mo on the back of a motorcycle quite courageous i'm gonna do something similar but nothing like that not on a motorbike <laughs> on a trike maybe that, that's that's what i'm looking that's what i'm looking forward to doing and here is the Euro towel. Right here, Euro towel. All right. And here's the Vara, the Vara Hotel. And I'm pretty much gonna stop it here because I wanna say this is pretty much the end of Fields. And then you have, I wanna say, the Walk to Friendship. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. There's a couple of bars on the way. But I'll introduce you to those in my next video. Alright, adios.